Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials. We're going to factor each completely. So I was given this trinomial 2p squared plus 2p minus 4. So 2p squared plus 2p minus 4. Well, I like it better when the a value is 1, the coefficient in front of p squared. But I notice there's a 2 there, and there's a 2 that I can pull out from all parts, my b and c. So I'm going to put a 2 out here. I'm left with a p squared plus 2 divided by 2 is a 1, so we just have p right there, and 2 divided by 4 is a 2. So this comes out to be now 2 times p squared plus p minus 2. So now we have an a value of 1, so we have to ask ourselves the question, what multiplies 2 numbers multiplied by our c value with a negative 2, but add to be a 1? What two numbers? What two numbers? Well, hmm. well two numbers that multiply to be a negative 2, I'm thinking are a negative 2 and a positive 1, or a negative 1 and a positive 2. But if I'm adding them together to be a positive 1, I'm thinking negative 2 and positive, uh, sorry, <laughs> positive 2 and a negative 1. Flip that around there. Okay, <laughs> so negative, a positive 2 and a negative 1 together multiply to be negative 2, but add to be a positive 1. Okay, <clears throat> so double check that. <laughs> Don't really need that plus sign, I guess. I can just eliminate that. Right there, there we go. Okay, it's all good. Racers for our markers here, my finger. All right, so now we have two numbers there, two and negative one. We can break this apart into two parentheses. If I can make a nice parenthesis. P for both of them, okay. We'll we put the two there, so P plus two and P minus one, and there we have it. Our final factor and answer of two times P plus two times P minus one. So let's recap, we're given two P squared plus two P minus four. We saw that a 2 is in all parts, so we pulled the 2 out to get 2 times p squared plus p minus 2. So then we can ask ourselves the question, what two numbers multiply to be negative 2 but add to be 1? Those two numbers are a positive 2 and a negative 1. All right, be careful there, positive 2 and negative 1. So I can write that in my factor form, the two positive 2 right there and the negative 4 right there, and the p's right there, giving me my final answer here of 2 times p plus 2 times p minus 1. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, 